Please be seated. Hi folks, this is Al with BombBuilds.com. If you're watching this video, you may have already purchased the build plans for the big chair, and you're wondering how this unique transmission works. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we're going to pull those covers off and show you just what makes this thing tick. Also, after the video, you can stick around or fast forward to the end and see what other unique vehicles we have and offer build plans for. So, we're all ready at the shop. Let's get started. To get started, we're just going to release the footrest and tilt the seat back. And there we get a good look at the covers on this transmission. And you can see the engine and CVT jack shaft and the CVT connection to the jack shaft. Uh, we're going to remove those covers next, uh, but first we're going to remove the seat uh, by removing these two fasteners right across there. We'll be back. So we've removed the seat mounting bracket here and we've also loosened or removed the, uh, the seat latch here from the faceplate. Um, so next, in order to get the, the covers off, we're going to come in here and we're going to disconnect this chain right here at this master link. And then we're going to take and remove these 5 16 fasteners down here that connect these plates to the transmission weldment. So you can see them here. So we're going to do that and remove that engine to CVT jack shaft and we'll keep going. And now with the jack shaft removed, all that's left is to remove our little self-tapping sheet metal screws um, all around the transmission covers in the bottom. So we'll do that and that should unveil this beast. Okay, the covers are off. Let's take a look at this thing. I'm just going to do a little bit of a, a drive-by here on this just so you guys can get a look in there. You know, how much you can see, hopefully pretty good. So let's just, uh, well, we're going to fire it up here in a second, but let's just uh, run through it here without the engine on. So we have the engine CVT, uh, which turns this sprocket, which turns this jack shaft here over to here. And then from this uh, engine CVT jack shaft, we go down to the primary jack shaft, which runs the entire length. Okay. And then there's a reversing chain that you see right here and you can see how it's routed, the chain's routed, it comes down around and up around these two idler sprockets here so what that does is that reverses the secondary jack shaft so that's the secondary jack shaft right here so um, this thing is spinning all the time so when you start it up the CVT you know, after you rev it up to the point where the CVT engages, this all spins. So you basically have two neutrals. You have a neutral from the CVT and a neutral from the system itself. So these will spin. The primary and sec primary and secondary jack shafts will be spinning all the time once you're throttled up. So what you have here now is you have loose belts between the primary both the primary and secondary jack shafts to the output jack shaft so you can see the output jack shafts are split the shaft doesn't go all the way through so that separates your power output so on the other side of this there's a sprocket and I got this peeled back just a little bit but you can see down in there that there's a sprocket and a chain that runs down and drives each of the wheels. So as it's spinning the slack in these belts gives you the neutral and then you you have the levers that you can operate so watch what happens when I push a lever you can see this idler pulley this idler pulley jams into the back of the belt there I call that back bending. Notice how the other one doesn't move they're both on a on a yoke down there and you can barely see it Maybe you can see it better over here. You see that yoke down there? And then you'll see this roller here. See that? As I operate the lever and I come backwards, nothing happens to that roller. But when I go forward, 
it jams into the back of the belts here, creating what I call back bending right there. That takes the slack out of the belt. So now the power comes from the primary shaft up to the output shaft. While the secondary shaft is still spinning, you're not transferring power to the output shaft because this idler is that way, it's out. Now watch what happens when I move this lever the other way. I move this lever back, see I'm still neutral, but when I move it back, watch what happens. Now this idler stays out of the, uh, the back bend, it just stays neutral, it doesn't move because it's, it's on a swivel yoke down there. And then the front one jams in, as you can see, causes the back bend. That tightens up this series of belts, so now the power is coming from this jack shaft, the secondary jack shaft, which is spinning the opposite direction. So that's what gives you the two different directions. You have neutral, you have reverse, and you have forward. And of course you have the same thing with both. And you can see my idlers moving there. See that? And up here when I go back. Tightens that belt. And you can actually hear them creaking as they tighten. Okay. So let's take a look at that yoke. So how does that work? I don't know how much you can see in there, but see down here, right there, there's a bolt. And see that? There's a slotted yoke. Now you'll see this in the build plans. That's where you're going to adjust this dead band uh, in that slotted yoke. You'll take that bolt there, that bolt nut combination, and you'll move it along the slot till you get that dead band range that you want. So see as it finally impacts there, the nut, the bolt nut, hits the, the arm, this yoke arm here. Way down there it hits the yoke arm. That's what pulls that back. And then you can see the other one, the other yoke doesn't move. This yoke is not moving. They're not connected. So this move, this one's free floating, and so is this one. The, the slotted disc here in between moves back and forth, and that'll either push this one back or pull the other one back, okay? And then you can see a series down here of jack screws and what that does is you adjust where you want this idler to stop rotating back. And that's spring-loaded under there. You'll see that in the build plants. And we also have a slot here so you can get the adjustment you want out of this roller. So that's really how it works. Quite simple, but also quite unique. So we'll fire it up here in a second and see if uh, we can show it running for more clarity. Things turning there. Not how well you can see that, depending on the frame rate. But we're turning the jack shaft, and we're turning the reversing chain. See that's all turning down in there, coming from the engine to the jack shaft. Now to the reversing chain, primary, secondary jack shaft. I'll put shaft on the right, and I'll put shaft on the left. Now the wheels are turning a little bit because there's no load on them, but I could easily stop them with my foot, as you can see. So, if I want to go forward, let's watch this idler as I push in. And there goes that wheel. Let's see this wheel start to turn. Now if I back off, now I'll go reverse, and you see the wheel turning this way. Go to neutral. The tire stops. Again, we go forward, we push that idler in there, and let's watch this tire go. There it goes. See all the work is there. Now come out of it. Now watch over here. And now the wheel's going backwards. This is in neutral. It's spinning a little bit because there's no there's no load on it. Once I put a load on it with my foot, it stops. It's just bleeding. But when this is on the ground, this, this doesn't move. It stays in neutral. Now watch as I push this forward. We got this wheel. 
start the car. Come back out of it. Okay folks, that's it. That is the big chair transmission, which is also the Mantis transmission by the way. The Mantis transmission just doesn't have this jack shaft. The Mantis just uh, drives right from the CVT down to the primary shaft. But they're the same transmission folks. So I hope that's cleared things up. So I'm going to put this beast back together and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm going to let Samuel Jackson take it from here and tell you what other unique vehicles you can build using our exclusive build plans. Now, you need to check out their other cool vehicles like the PTV, the Magic Carpet, the Mantis, the Die Cycle, the Drift Trike Industrial, single and two seat bolt together drift trikes. The mobility assist vehicle and the Ox utility vehicle, all with available build plans for only $20 each. Just visit bombbuilds.com.